Well, actually, b before we start, I'm just going to go ahead and answer the Trump question right now, okay? Um, I disagree um, with what the President said and how he said it. Um, I think it's very unbecoming of the office of the President of the United States to talk like that, to degrade people like that. Um, and obviously, he's, uh, he's disappointed a lot of people. Um, as far as the, the national anthem uh, protest, um, I've said this before, and, and I'll say it again. Well, l let me say this first. Do I think that there's um, inequality in this country? Yes, I do. Do I think that there's racism? Yes, I do. I think there's inequality for women, for women in the workplace. Um, I think that there's inequality for people of color, for minorities, uh, for, for immigrants. Um, but as it pertains to the national anthem, I will always feel that if you are an American, that the national anthem is the opportunity for us all to stand up together, to be unified, and to show respect for our country, to show respect for what it stands for, um, the birth of our nation. Um, we will, there will always be issues with our country. There will always be things that we're battling. Um, and we should all be striving to make those things better. But if, but if a, the protest becomes that we're going to sit down or kneel or not show respect to the flag of the United States of America and everything that it symbolizes and everything that it stands for and everything that our country has been through to get to this point, um, I do not agree with that. I feel like that is a unifying thing. The national anthem and standing for the national anthem and looking at the flag with your hand over your heart is a unifying thing that should bring us all together and say, you know what? We know that things are not where they should be, but we will continue to work and strive to make things better, to bring equality to all people, men, women, no matter what your race, creed, religion, it doesn't matter. Equality for all. But if you're an American, then I, I will always believe that we should be standing, showing respect to our flag with our hand over our heart. Um, there you go. So, did any teammates ask you for almost permission to do it, knowing your feelings, or, or are no. you okay that, that that, you know? I, I, again, I, I acknowledge that there is inequality in this country and that there is, um, I, I, I acknowledge the protest and I, and I will say that they're, they're justified in their, their reason. Um, but again, I will never agree that it's okay to not show respect to the flag of the United States of America during the national anthem, which is, that is the symbol of showing respect to our country. I won't. I'll never, I, I, I will, I, I don't think that that's okay. Um, because of all who have fought so hard and died and sacrificed so much for us to be able to have the things that we have, to live in the country that we live in, to have the freedoms that we have, the very freedom of speech that we're talking about was born from that flag. So again, I feel like the national anthem should be a unifying thing. This is a unifying thing. This is where we can all hold hands, stand arm in arm, but we stand up and we show respect and we show that we're unified and that we will work to make things better. And because at the end of the day, if, listen, I deserted everyone regardless of your, your your race, your religion, your creed, man, woman, that you deserve to be respected and that you should respect others and that we should all work to help one another. And I understand that there are inequalities in this country that need to be fixed, that needs to be worked on. But again, the national anthem is a time for us all to be unified and stand arm in arm and say, you know what, we are all going to fight and strive to make things better for everyone. Well, first of all, is that the last question? Because that's the last, 
Are there any other questions in regards to that that anybody has? That's a good question. Uh, no, I, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Um, but again, I, 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 want, I want my message to be very clear that I feel like it's a unifying thing for us all to stand together as Americans and say, you know what, things are not the way they should be right now, but we will continue to strive to make them better. And if it, if, if, if it could just start with everyone respecting each other and working to help others in need, I think if we can just start with that, then we could go a long way. I do have one more question. Okay, sure, sure. You told Mike that this team is not going to talk to you for a protest today. Between now and the next Well, I'd say this. I'm not sure, I, I'm not sure who, who was kneeling during, you know, on our sideline or anything. I, I'm not sure of what took place because I was, I was standing on the sideline and I was locked in on the flag. So I'm not sure of, of what took place. Yeah, absolutely. Um, these are these are candid conversations that we have a lot um, at the lunch table in the locker room. Um, I've had these conversations with many of my teammates before. Um, again, I'm not, and I'm coming in here straight out of the shower, so I'm not sure exactly uh, what happened pregame today because, like I said, I was locked in. But uh, but I'll talk to all my guys and. And, and we'll be we'll be fine.